Hi there, I'm Mark Sebastian, founder of OptionPit.com, and this is the AM Volatility Report. Reminder, this is for educational purposes only. Now this should be considered investment advice. Options have risk. Consult your financial professional. Well, here we are. The market is up ever so slightly. The VIX is down. VIX futures are down. But I think kind of the interesting piece is what's up and what's down now. Um, we've had kind of a turnaround from the last few days. The Amazon's up over 2%. Apple is up 1%, Alibaba, Facebook's up big, Google's up big. All the names that have been getting slammed are up nicely. All right, even Tesla is up. And then some of the names that had been around big, your JP Morgans, your Goldman Sachs's, um, have... Uh, obviously seen things uh, moving the other way. They're down a little bit today. They are down. So um, looks like money seems to have kind of allocated itself around where it's going to be. And so now you have the rut down, the Dow down, and the NASDAQ and the S&P up. Uh, that'll eventually change. I think, uh, you know, you're not seeing good money thrown after bad in that I think that there's a decent odds that, you know, we could see everything up. We could see money actually entering the market now that we're through some uncertainty here. All right. The other piece that I think is really important, look at oil today. Even oil's found a, kind of a, a bottom and uh, it seems to no longer be dying. Uh, it's, it's slow death. So there is some, uh, the, definitely a day of kind of turning things around, of uh, reallocating dollars. And you can see XLE is, is one of the big leaders today, along with technology, XLK. And then the laggards are, continue to be some pharmaceuticals, and financials are down today. Um, you know, I, the one group that really does look like it's got a problem is, med is health, uh, because a lot of the economies of scale that, uh, were really good for big, huge hospitals, maybe don't continue to persist uh, the way uh, the president is talking about it. And uh, state, state, state competition will definitely be a problem for insurance companies. Um, then, you know, we go to VIX itself. VIX is down. Um, kind of near the low of the day, S&P up a little bit. Um, what's interesting, VVIX is up today, so there's actually some vol demand, and it continues to be coming from puts. I mean, take a look today, puts are outpacing calls. That's such a rarity, and put open interest is higher than normal, and because the current ratio, we've got really high open interest, seven over 7 million contracts, and yet, relative to kind of the average open interest, we're a half a half a multiplier uh, short of normal. So that shows you that all this extra volume, this half a million in volume, is coming not from calls; it's coming from puts, where we're seeing heavy demand on the thirteen and a half strike. Lots of uh, thirteen and a half put buyers, fourteen put buyers. Lots of downside plays into uh, non-farm payroll, into non-farm payrolls, into uh, expiration tomorrow. So lots of traders uh, buying up, um, buying up kind of right near the money puts in anticipation of a potential uh, drop in vol. And uh, you know the way things line up, if we sit here or meander a little higher. VIX is going to get thwacked, uh, and that could be a ugly, ugly trip lower. Uh, and then with that, you could see vol futures drop more as well. Uh, right now, the spread from Nove to regular VIX is only about fifteen cents a dime to VXMO, kind of what it, it, it expires into. So I think we could be gearing for a low print in volatility tomorrow. That's the way things are lining up. 
All right, folks, if you have questions, you can email me, marketoptionpit.com, or you can call me, 888-TRADE-01. Uh, have a great day, folks.